Bid you a very pleasant good evening and welcome actually afternoon to the old ballpark. Beautiful day for baseballs. We bring you the Elizabethan Cyclones. How about these clones? Orange and black under the direction of Ryan Presnell. Big win the other night as you get down into the bottom of the seventh inning. Two out, two strikes. And Ethan Eggleston produces a bases clearing, game winning double for the Elizabethan Cyclones to put them into the winner's bracket against the Solomon South Rebels of Anthony Richardson who come in with a record of 14-8-1 and, and the Cyclones, they're ready to do battle the record of 15-9. and nine. On the mound this afternoon for the Rebels of Anthony Richardson will be the young man by the name of Matt Montgomery with a record of 6-2 and two. Encountering for the Elizabethan Cyclones, again, you've got Evan Carter, the freshman. It's a, a surprise starring assignment for this young man, but again, he will Get out there and take the baseball and get after it here on this beautiful day for baseball here again at J. Fred Johnson Stadium in Kingsport, Tennessee. You look at the numbers for Evan Carter. Carter on the season at one and two and in ten innings of baseball making his fourth start of the season. And so he's about to go to work against the Solomon South Rebels of, again, head coach Anthony Richardson. So we say good evening to you. Thank you for being with us. Our game being brought to you by the Elizabethan Twins, and we're excited about that. Also, the Elizabethan Parks and Rec. Starting lineup first off with the visitors, Solomon South leading off and doing the catching, Lane Williams. Batting second and playing third, Marcus Williams. Trey Fields with an outstanding pitching performance. Uh, got him to this game playing center field, and he'll bat third. Logan Day, cleanup batter, first baseman for the Rebels. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Seth Worley. Batting sixth and playing left field, Austin Mons. Batting seventh, the D.H. Corey Williams for the pitcher, Matt Montgomery. Batting eighth will be Jeffrey Leonard at second base. And batting ninth will be the right fielder, Gavin Parker. Again, in order, Williams catching, Williams at third, Fields in center, Date at first, Worley at short, Mons in left field. You have Williams D.H.ing. Leonard at second, and Gavin Parker in right field. For the homestanding Cyclones, 15 up and 9 down on the season, leading off and doing the catching, Ethan Eggleston. Uh, batting second, third baseman Corey Russell. Batting third, your shortstop, Michael Robinson. Cleanup batter is the pitcher, Evan Carter. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Brody Adams. Batting sixth, the playing right field this afternoon is Logan Eastep. In the bottom three, Nick Johnson DHing for Carson Dillard at second. Jesse Carr in left and Ryan Wetzel in center. And this one is ready to go here. We welcome you wherever you may be. Hello to the Knicks listening and watching in Colorado. How about it? First pitch and he hammers it foul. First base side and this one's underway. Winner's bracket game here on a beautiful, beautiful day for baseball. Me, oh my. Game time temperature at 82 degrees here at the old ballpark. Carter, the freshman, brings it. And a fly to right field, and the no-hitter goes by the boards. Lane Williams rifles a single into right center field. And on a one-strike count. And that brings up Marcus Williams, the third baseman. Now batting for the Rebels, third baseman, number 24, Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams on the season batting 365 for Solomon's out. One homer and 21 knocks. Left-hand batting... Third baseman for Solomon South. Carter to the belt. Brings it. First pitch, and it's popped up. Third base side. Corey Russell backpedaling in fair play. Crosses the chalk and makes a catch. One away. Got him in foul ground. Nice job by Russell looking up in the sun and backpedaling. Here's Trey Fields. Fields on the season batting 480. What a year for this kid. Leads the club in home runs and RBIs 4 and 25 respectively. One on one out. Big lead at first for your base runner, Lane Williams. Holding him on is Brody Adams. Carter, runner going. Pitch and no chance. Stolen base. He stole that one off the pitcher. Ethan Eggleston didn't even make an attempt. He just gave him the free pass. 
And so he's in at second base with a stolen base for the Rebels of Anthony Richardson. Solomon South in dark blue tops and white bottoms here this afternoon. Winner's bracket game. This is big. The winner goes to the regional. Qualifies to the regional. There's a hit batsman. Fields tried to get away from a curve. It came in on him and he could not. He gets grazed and looks like a hit batsman. Logan Dade now for Solomon South, batting only 222 on the season. But Dade is third on the ball club, the RBIs with 14 behind Trey Fields and Marcus Williams. One out, two men on for the Rebels here in the top of the first. Just got started, and it's going to be a good one, you can tell already. Pitching and a fastball strike call. Nice pitch by Carter. This kid is only a freshman. You're talking about a baseball team that's loaded for bear. There's only four seniors on this team. JV team went 15 and 5 this year. And six of the regulars on JV are playing varsity. Here's a shot back up the middle. That should produce a run. They'll get the windmill rounding third. It's an RBI single. It's 1 nothing south. RBI single right back up the gut for Logan Dade. Day drives in the ribby. Here's Seth Worley, the shortstop. So you've got him at second and third. The throw back in allowed the runner to move down to second. So you got him second and third and one out of the run in for the Rebels. Carter and it's strike called. Right hand batting number one, Seth Worley. Worley. Batting 304. No homers and 13 runs knocked in. As a team, South batting a very respectable 307. This is outside. One on one. So the Rebels have struck first here in the top of the first inning, the winner's bracket game. Gonna be a good one here. Carter long look brings it. And it's an all-speed pitch. Misses upstairs. Two and one. Russell, even the bag at third defensively. Adams likewise at first. Infield's not quite pinched in, but they're closer. They want to cut down his run to the plate if possible in an infield ground ball. Pitching, and it's outside, not by much. It's three balls and a strike. On deck will be Austin Mons. Sullivan East and Unicoi County in the next one. That one goes home after the, who loses this one in the second game. And a pitch strike call. Nice pitch. I think probably the biggest surprise so far this baseball season was the ouster of Science Hill last night by Tennessee High. Viking fans don't think so, but I think that was very unexpected at Science Hill for them to be eliminated, not even make it to the regional after finishing or tie for first in the district conference race. This one outside, ball four, lost him. Here's Mons to see what he can do with guys on base batting 309 on the season with men on base batting 431. And now Reed Casey will walk out. Coach Casey and talk to his starting pitcher and have a little meeting, see what's on his mind out there. Matthew Daly was going to start this game and a last minute substitution and a rearrangement to put Carter out there, the freshman. And so far, not the kind of start he wants, obviously. Home plate umpires will go out there and move them along now. We'll run down big league baseball finals. Got a lot of day games. We'll do that for you coming up here in a little while. So I'll say hello to J.P. Nix in Colorado listening this afternoon. Coach Presley said, tell Coach Nix I'm wearing his pants. And also to Daddy Joe. Bases jam with Rebels. One in, one out, and bases loaded for Mons, the number six man of the lineup. Right hand batter. Meeting over. Carter brings it. And it's a pitch. Misses upstairs. Ball one. And immediately the bullpen starts. That would be Matthew Daly, the original scheduled starter, beginning to loosen up rather feverishly now in the Elizabethan bullpen. Carter brings it. And a fastball popped that leather. One on one on called strike belt high.
We will be live at Sprint coming up on Saturday. We're going to be there. Customer appreciation day. It's going to be cool. Looking forward to it. 1-1 one, one pitch. I want to say thanks to Big Ronnie who took care of us today. And may I say another thank you to Jeremiah Clark. Gosh, mighty. Look up Angel in the dictionary, and there's a big old picture of Jeremiah. Thank you, sir. 2-1 pitch. Way outside, 3-1. and one. No place to put him. He's got to have a – well, Mons wants something to swing at, and Carter wants to run one by him to get a full count. See who wins this one. Carter the pitcher, and Mons the batter, full count, or a 3-1, base is full. And that's a slow ground ball to the second baseman, Dillard. He'll shuffle it, and he's safe. That's a good call. Run in, all hands safe. That was not a good play. Dillard fielded the ball and shuffled the pass to Robinson instead of throwing it to him, and it was kind of a uh, kind of a lazy shuffle out there, and in safe, run two scored. Day down to third, second is Worley, and first on the fielder's choice is Mons. Here's Corey Williams, the DH. So the Rebels out of the gate with two on and or two in rather. And only one out. Here's the strike call. Corey Williams batting 270 with no homers and six runs knocked in. A couple of doubles under his belt. Carter in a first inning jam here. Down 2-0. They're still batting with the bases loaded. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase a pitch. No balls and two strikes. He's DHing for the pitcher, Matt Montgomery. Rebels on every base. 2-0 lead early for South in the first inning. Carter brings it from the stretch, and it just misses upstairs, 1-2. and two. Two hits so far this inning. Williams the single to start it, and Dade the RBI single. 1-2 pitch. Fouls it back. We have some finals in Big League Baseball. Pass them on to you in just a second. Carter, 1-2 pitch. Line shot back up the middle, and that is a base hit in the center field. And it's 3-0. Runs on three hits. Worley stops at third. Second is Mons at first. The RBI singles. Corey Williams is Jeffrey Leonard. And it would appear the second trip out will be it for Evan Carter. And Ryan Presnell will come and I believe get that baseball. Yep, he summons the bullpen, and that will be it for an early exit for Evan Carter, and that'll be it. Breaking the action. Jeffrey Leonard will be the man coming up next, and it would be. The young man trotting out there, Matthew Daly will be the new man on the mound. Let's see if Carter goes into right field. And he will. So the freshman will replace Logan Eastep in right field. And right there is a lesson in life. Now pitching for the Cyclones, number 15, Matthew Daly. So Daly spells him, and Daly will come out of the pen in an early shower again for Evan Carter. He'll learn more from that than he will from a – Big no-hit performance, I promise you. So Evan Carter will try it out and play his customary right field. East up comes off the field, and let's give you the numbers on Matthew Daly. 23 innings of work, his 11th appearance of the season with a record of 1-1. One and one. 23 hits, 20 runs, 16 of those earned. He's walked 17. He struck out 26 in 23 innings. So Daly, the big flame-throwing right-hander in now. So Carter... One, two, three, four, five, face seven batters to be exact in the book. A third of an inning is all he could muster this afternoon. Three runs on three base hits. And so he'll go to work on second baseman Jeffrey Leonard. Leonard batting only 176, no homers and an RBI, but 
second. Bases still occupied all three by Rebels and only one out. Daly's going to have to come in and put out the fire, and he hits him. And Worley touches home plate. Mons goes to third. Williams to second. Leonard to first. And here's Gavin Parker, the number nine man. Daly working from the stretch, and it's a strike call to Gavin Parker. Parker batting 308. He's 8 for 26 on the season. Right hand batting right fielder for the Rebels. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. Four big ones in on three hits, and the base is still jammed with only one out here in the first inning. A big start for Anthony Richardson's team. And a swing and a miss, blew it by him. Nice pitch, popping the smoke and popping the leather. Two down, strikeout swinging. And for Daly, that is punch out on the season for Matthew Daly. Number 27, top of the order, batted around here. He's single to get it started to get this game going. Cyclone fans out there, I don't think you need to push the panic button yet. Upstairs, ball one. You get down to two outs, two strikes. You're down to bases loaded, and Eggleston performs the miracle. We, it's a long ball game. We're just getting started. Here's a bad handle pop right field, driving down the right field line. Pretty well hit Carter and foul ground, makes a catch. Nice job, Evan Carter. Did he hold on to it? And he couldn't hang on to it. Made the catch, and his momentum took him into the brick facing in the batting cage facility down at Dobbins minute down the right field line and couldn't hang on to the baseball. Great effort by Carter running a long way to make that catch and new life for your two out batter Lane Williams. Daly working from the stretch the base is loaded. Matthew brings it and a swing and a miss. Maybe chase a pitch inside and it's one ball two strikes ran it in on him. Four runs on three hits here. For the Rebels in the first. Daly pitches, and he just got a piece of it, nicked it to the backstop. One ball, two strikes. Tomorrow, looking forward to talking to Coach Philip Fulmer. Get a chance to talk to him on the sports show tomorrow. That's going to be fun. Coach going to check in with us live from Knoxville. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. But a big start for the Rebels. Four runs and three hits, no errors. They leave them full. We go to the bottom of the first. Cyclone's got the work cut out for them. Down four nothing. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball, brought to you by the Elizabeth and Twins. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447.
first for the Cyclones, catcher, number 21, Ethan Eggleston. Well, we spotted him before to get it started, but we roughed this guy up the last time we faced him, so let's see if we can come back. We beat him the two games combined to 14-2, to two. so let's see what happens. Down 4 nothing. get it started. Eggleston takes the call strike. This one's underway. Montgomery making his 11th start of the season. Again, he is in 56 innings of baseball, walked 15 and struck out 38, the big right-hander. Eggleston, the hero of the game, strike two called in Tuesday's game. A game-winning walk-off. Three run double to clear the bases and it allows Elizabeth to win 9 8 over a good East Ball club. 0 2 pitch, shoots it down the left field line, telling away from the left fielder, and that will be a catch ball. He caught up with it. Austin Mons makes the catch. Looking up into the sun, nice job. One away. Now the third baseman, number 22, Corey Russell. Here's Corey Russell. Russell batting 349 of the season, no homers and 14 runs knocked in. Team batting average at 323. Corey went two for four against Sullivan East. Third game of the tournament for this ball club. Pitching Montgomery and it's strike call. Corey one for three in game number one. So he's got him three base hits and six at bats. That would be 500 all day long. Swing and a miss. Back against this team in the regular season. Corey feasted on the Rebel pitching. Four for eight with four RBIs in the two meetings. 7 nothing and 7-2 wins by the Rebels. They're right now down four, way outside. Mariners beat the Phillies 11-6 today. That's a final big league baseball. Giants over the Mets, 6-5. Bad handle, foul down the right field line, backing out of play. Astros beat the Braves. What else is new? Braves got hammered 4-2, to two, or not hammered, but got beat 4-2, to two, and they continue to struggle. In the bottom of the sixth, Rockies lead the Cubs 1-0. And the Mets' problems continue. They've got some major internal problems in New York. Swing and a miss, struck him out, two down. Montgomery's 39th strikeout of the season, two away. He'll go to work on Michael Robinson. Robinson of the regular season, two for five against the Rebels. Michael comes into the ball game. Batting 345. No homers and a club leading 21 RBIs in the season. Right hander versus right hander. And it's a pitch outside, ball one. Defensively, Marcus Williams at third, Seth Worley at short, Jeffrey Leonard at second, and Logan Day at first for South with Lane Williams behind the plate. 1-0. Fly ball, center field, pretty well tagged. He's on his horse going back. He'll catch up to it. And that's a home run of most ballparks, but a routine fly. And this one, it's a three up, three down inning. Cyclones go quietly. We go to the second inning, four nothing south. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers. But owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard. Brings the magic.
Daly in for his second inning of work against Williams. Pitch is upstairs. It's now two balls and a strike. Williams popped out on foul ground to Corey Russell. Looking up into the sun down the third base line. Back in the last inning. We're in the second, 4 nothing. Upstairs and outside Montgomery, a strong start for Sullivan South. Looked very impressive. But, as we said, it's high school baseball and anything can happen. It typically does. 3-1 pitch. And it's a fastball strike two call right down the heart of the plate. On deck would be Trey Fields and Logan Dade here in the second. 4-0, Sullivan South in the second. Winner of this game qualifies for the regional. And it's a strike three call. He's gone. One away. Here's Fields, the center fielder. Up next will be Unicoi County and Sullivan East in the elimination game. Coming out of the loser's bracket, Daly rocks and brings it. And a check swing, and it did go. He did. Strike called. That one skipped up again here at J. Fred. Everything is artificial. Even the brown area in the out or infield and around home plate is all artificial, although it looks dirt from here. The only actual dirt is on the pitcher's mound. So that bounced up on the artificial surface. Inside, it misses, and it's one and one. Good crowd out here. They should be. Man, this is what it's what's all about. This is showtime. Why would you not be out on a beautiful day like this? Foul back. One ball, two strikes. So as we said, tomorrow on the sports show, we will have Phil Former with us. Coach Former going to join us live from Knoxville. Looking forward to hanging with him. Talk a little Tennessee football and get his thoughts on that new, the second national signing day has been put into play by the NCAA. That and a whole lot more tomorrow will be a champion Chevrolet for show number 515. They said it wouldn't work. One-two pitch, upstairs, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out in the top of the second. It's 4-0 Sullivan South. Cyclones, the home team here this afternoon. Daly brings it. The ground ball back up the middle to his left. Robinson, three steps, fields, pumps, throws, got him. Two down. 6-3 to three on the put out. Here's Logan Day. Had an RBI single his first time up. And South coming into the ball game with a batting average of 307. Day picked up his 15th RBI of the season. So Daly in relief of Evan Carter, who's in his typical right field spot defensively. Pitching. Coming over the top of the pitch. Misses inside ball one. Anyways, we had on the show today, we had Dave Angio of the Johnson City Press talking about Matt Harvey and then Syndergaard and the internal situation going on with the Mets. It ain't good. They got beat today. Jose Risk has called out Matt Harvey and said, are you going to be a team player or are you not going to be a team player? So there's some clubhouse problems in New York. Popped him up. Back it out of play. Two balls and a strike. And you get ready for... Elizabeth and BD's 9 to 8. It was South defeating Unicoi County 7 0. Here's a ground ball sharply hit to Russell. And he'll come up throwing. Does he get him? Got him. Nice job of Corey Russell. Corey handcuffed him for a second, kind of crawled in behind him a couple of inches, and Corey picked it up and threw a rocket across the diamond to Brody Adams. They go out in order 1, 2, 3, and we go to the bottom of the second. Great job of Russell. We'll be right back. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications and eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to, to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE master technicians here. With the ratio, goes into a ratio, and it, we're a blue seal shop. So uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. 
American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. We start the bottom of the second. Again, let's see what the Cyclones have from Montgomery. First time up, he showed him he had a lot of gas in the tank. Put him out in order, one, two, three. Montgomery working against Carter, and it's downstairs 2-0. and oh. Evan Carter, the freshman phenom, batting 450. Leads the ball club in three categories, hits, singles, and triples. And a strike call to Carter, batting 450. No homers and 18 runs knocked in. This kid is 36 for 80 on the season at bat. Two balls and a strike. Montgomery versus Carter in the second. Chopper coming off the home plate artificial surface. Montgomery field throws. Got him. One down. One away here in the Cyclone second. Here's Brody Adams. Adams. Batting 345, Brody, big tournament so far. This kid was two for three with three RBIs against East on Tuesday. Working against Montgomery, right against righty. Line shot, that is a base hit. Falls down in front of the diving. Center fielder rolls to the fence. Brody's got one. The big dog hammers into second base, and Brody will stop right there. Great try by Trey Fields diving for that, gambling, and you either get it or you don't. He missed it, but a great effort by Trey Fields and standing out of second, Brody Adams, with his fourth double of the season. Now batting for the Cyclones, pitcher number 15, Matthew Daly. First hit of the ball game for Elizabeth, and let's see what, let's see what Daly can do here. He replaces East Evan at sixth spot. Montgomery to the belt, out at second, moving around. He pitches to him, and it's outside ball one. Daly on the season, batting 284. No homers and 14 runs knocked in. So hello to J.P. Nix in Colorado. Hello to my buddy Andy up in West Virginia listening. Got him everywhere. Also, this one, strike call. Miss Presnell over in Elizabethan. Get a little gaggle of fans here today. And it should be, man. This is it. This is what you, all that rain and cold weather back in March and April, get out here in May and enjoy a good afternoon of baseball. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss. 1-2. One, one ball, two strikes for Daly. On deck will be Nick Johnson, the designated hitter. 4 nothing south, bottom of the second. Winner's bracket game. Winner, this one punches their ticket to the regional. Pitching, ground ball right on the screws and through the wicket, E5, and coming down to third is Adams. Error charge to the third baseman. That's a routine ground ball to Marcus Williams, and he just went through his legs, and runner comes down to third. As I said, it's high school baseball. You're dealing with 16, 17-year-old kids and even younger. It's anybody's... And anything's going to happen on any given play, I'm telling you. It's the beauty of high school baseball. That was a routine play. Saw that happen. Colton Miller runs out to run at first base now for Elizabethan. Saw that happen, what, three first times? Pitcher, 10, Colton Miller. I guess that was three or four times against East third baseman on Tuesday. Just tough luck. As my daddy used to say, some days you get the peanuts and some days you get the shells. It's just how life rolls. Montgomery to the belt. Working on Johnson. First pitch fouled back our way to the backstop screen. Strike one. Johnson batting 250. No homers and three runs knocked in. Three doubles on the season. Got him on the corners. One man out here in the second. It is a 4 0 ball game. Sullivan South. But here come inch by inch. Anything's a cinch, as they say. Here come the Cyclones. Pitching. 
Johnson watches it miss outside. It's one on one. So again, the surprise for me anyway in postseason is the ouster of Science Hill in the tournament. They finished for a tie of the coin flip with Dobbins Minute. They're not even, they're done. They don't even get to the regional. Here's a slow grounder right back to the mound. Montgomery looks runner back to third, throws, got him one to three. Johnson's done. The runner goes down to second. Colt Miller running for Daly. Still Wayers car. Jesse had a single in three tries yesterday in a run scored. Car on the season batting 261. Second and third. Pitch, strike call. Nice pitch by Montgomery. Leans in, gets his side. Does Montgomery. Runners at second and third. Brings it. And it's down and away. One on one, get eye by car. On deck would be Ryan Wetzel. One hit in the game so far for Elizabethan is the Adams double. Wind not nearly as brisk as it has been earlier in the tournament. I can feel the old East Tennessee humidity kick in. Here's a high pop down the left field line. Foul ground giving chase. I don't think they'll get to it. And. He did get to it. He made the catch. Nice job. Spoke too soon. Great job by Austin Mons. Mons racing full throttle. Foul ground makes that catch and crash into the temporary fence, and the fence flipped over, and he's okay, but it made a great catch. Nice job by Austin Mons down the left field line on foul ground. Big time play for Solomon South. Gets a nice round of applause, and he should. That's a good job. Quick break. We'll go to the third. It's 4 nothing South. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars, you have to be certified in eight different certifications and eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to, to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE master technicians here. With the ratio, it goes into a ratio, and it, we're a blue seal shop. So uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, Try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. Second time around for Seth Worley, he'll face a different pitcher. First time it was Evan Carter, this time it's Matthew Daly. Pitch is outside ball one, the third innings underway here. Worley a walk and a run scored. He's only at bat back in the first, four nothing south. Top of the third of a scheduled seven. And a line shot, look out. That's a smoker over top of the bullpen and hit off the side wall facing of J. Fred Johnson Stadium. Looking up to the left here, you see the Indians going through spring football practice right now. Pitching way outside, two and one. Here's the scenario. Again, the loser of this game plays the winner of the next game at Five o'clock tomorrow night. Here's a ground ball. Slowly hit. Robinson charges. Fields throws. Got him. Nice job. Kid covers some territory. One of only four seniors on this team. Worley's gone. And here's Austin Mons. So Daly's been the fireman. He's come out of the bullpen to relieve Carter. He's retired six in a row here. Here's Austin Mons hitting a fielder's choice his first time up, and it's outside ball one. 
Elizabethan will scrimmage Dobbins minute in the football. We've got several of the kids, including the third baseman down there. What an athlete. He won't be in the spring football game. Corey Russell, among others. But I can tell you this, the Rebels and the Cyclones play each other this year, and it's going to be a good conference. There's a fastball inside. The Cyclones are loaded for bear. Three balls and no strikes to your one-out batter, Austin Mons. Base is empty. Daly brings it. Taken all the way. Ball four on four. Second walk of the game given up by Elizabeth in pitching. Here's Corey Williams. He's DHing for your pitcher. Had an RBI single back up in the middle of the first inning. Four runs, three hits for the Rebels. No runs, and the Adams doubles it for Elizabeth and through two at bats. So up next to be Sullivan East and Unicoi County. The loser is this one will play the loser of that one in the elimination game tomorrow. And again, the winner of this one will punch their ticket to the regional next week. And right now, it's South leading 4 0 in the third. 1 0 pitch. Fly ball, center field. Back billing, hit it pretty hard. But now he'll wait on. Nice job. Wetzel played it perfectly. Two down. We've had two today. Any other ballpark, they're out of here. Robinson's hit, and now that hit was a deep drive. Second baseman, number five, Jeffrey Leonard. Straight away center field is 381. That went about 365. That's a home run most places. Here's your two-out batter, Jeffrey Leonard, with a runner at first here in the third. Daly brings it, swing and a miss, and a pitch upstairs. Made him chase a bad pitch, strike one. So the Cyclones scrimmaging the Indians in football. Sean Whitten with a little twinkle in his eyes that we got some horses. And oh, yeah. Got some boys that can play the game. Pitching. Got Carter Everett back, that great quarterback. Corey Russell's back, only a sophomore this year. He's got him for two more years. Everett's only a 10th grader. Baseball team's got four seniors. That's it. Lucas Honeycutt's loaded in basketball. The softball team's kicking tail and taking names. It's all good. At Betsy upstairs. Two balls and a strike. Awful proud they called me and asked me to come do their games. That's awful nice of them. I appreciate that. Pitching. Ground ball back up the middle. Robinson behind the bag. Oh, skips on into center field. It actually hit the base. So a ground ball. Robinson's about to make a play on it. Actually hit second base. Pops straight up in the air, and all hands are safe. Infield hit. Base hit number four. The Rebels. Here's Parker. Struck out swinging. Back in the first inning. Strikeout number 27 of the year for Matthew Daly. So, yep, that old East Tennessee humidity's kicked in a little bit here. A little muggy today, which is, feels good. Beats the snow and the ice and the winter storm warnings. Ground ball to Russell. That handcuffed him. He'll come up throwing anyway. And got him. Nice job. Corey Russell, dynamite at third. He knocked it down. Came up with it. And a cannon shot across the diamond for the second time. And that will do it. Second time of the game, he's had a heck of a throw. No runs. One hit. No errors. They leave two. We go to the bottom of the third. See what the Cyclones have got for them. They trail 4 nothing. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. 
You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Ryan Wetzel gets it started with the Cyclones in the third inning. Nine, one, and two. Wetzel, Eggleston, and Russell. First pitch to Wetzel is a called strike. This one's underway. Ryan batting 308. No homers and three runs knocked in. Wetzel, yes, an infield hit and a run scored in four tries. Montgomery nods his head and brings it. 0 1 pitch, and it's off the right foot of the home plate umpire. Did, did a little jump. That probably stung a little bit. One ball, one strike, four runs, four hits south. No runs, one hit for Elizabeth. And we're in the bottom of the third. And a strike called. One ball, two strikes. So Daly's given up only the infield hit after coming in relief of Carter. He's done a nice job settling things down. Here's a ground ball. Third baseman to his left field. Throws, and he'll be safe. That's E5, Errol Marcus Williams on the throw. That's a routine ground ball to his left, playable, and he one-hopped the throw. All hands are safe. E5 of Marcus Williams, that's his second. Top of the order, here's Eggleston. He flied out the left his first time up. Eggleston, a chance to... Get it going. Let's see what happens the second time through. Checking out Montgomery. He's been very strong so far. First pitch, bad handle foul. Look out. Back up in the stands. We've got a lot of orange and some blue down that third base rail. Soaking up the rays on a beautiful, beautiful hump day, Wednesday. Montgomery to the belt. Runner at first. Pitches. Eggleston. Strike call. Nice pitch. Caught the corner. No balls and two strikes to Eggleston. So far, Montgomery with pinpoint accuracy. This guy's first time I've seen him this year. He's very impressive. Brings it. Upstairs. Go back a ways. It reminds me of a guy who used to pitch for South way back in the day. We, we were doing the Rebels and Scott Wade. With He could paint the corners. And this kid's doing the same thing. One ball, two strikes. And it's downstairs, not by much, two and two. On deck is Corey Russell. Russell be forever remembered. Making that basket to beat Science Hill in Elizabeth. And when he fell down on his hiney and threw the ball up and went in to beat him when he was sitting on his, on his tush. That made national... YouTube highlight video, or highlight reel. Of course, the job this kid did as a running back for the Elizabethan football team and baseball as well. Pitching, Eggleston outside. Good eye, Ethan. Full count. So Eggleston, after being in the hole, has pushed him to a 3-2 limit here. Runner at first, creeping off the bag. Cyclones leading base runners down four in the third. Montgomery to the belt, brings it. And he just got a piece of foul to the backstop. The night games in the bigs tonight. You've got under the lights, Baltimore and Washington, the Cardinals in Miami, Padres at Texas, Red Sox in Milwaukee, Detroit at Arizona, and Pittsburgh against the Dodgers. Payoff pitch, strike three call. Ran it in on him. Nice pitch. He's gone. Then there's one away. Montgomery's second strikeout of the ball game. He struck out Russell back in the first inning. That is his 40th K of the season for Montgomery. And so he'll go to work on Corey Russell. 
One out, one on in the fourth. By the way, Daniel Norris pitches on Saturday evening as the Tigers continue their left coast road trip. Norris will pitch against Albert Pujols and Mike Trout of the Angels on Saturday. Norris 2-2 two two in the year. Pitching and a hack and a foul back. Tell you what, you look under a gamer in the dictionary and you're going to see Corey Russell. And not a nicer kid. And you stand beside him and you just wonder. He's not very big, but he's got a heart like a lion. Not big in stature, but 10 foot tall in heart, I can tell you that. 0 1 pitch outside. Good eye. 0 1 1. Cyclones have mustered only one hit against Montgomery, the double by Adams, who's. Do up two or three batters in that one, get to him. So Montgomery's had things his own way right now. A strong start for this kid. Pitching. And there's a shot back up the middle. That is a base hit for Corey Russell. He roped it. Montgomery put his full glove up to defend it. It's a shot back up the middle. Base hit number two. Cyclone's got a couple of men on. Robinson, a hammer out in center field back in the first inning, pulled down by Trey Fields. Probably any other ballpark had been out. He really creamed it, but it's a routine fly ball in this ballpark. What was interesting about the comeback win Tuesday, they practice it every day in Elizabethan baseball. They have to come from behind. Last 10 minutes of practice, they do a situation like you actually were in. Here's a first pitch, bad handle foul. Back, strike one. So, talking to the coaches after the game, is you know, we weren't the least bit surprised. We practice it every day. We expect we expect to come back. Joe Diaz, Ryan White, Reed Casey, and of course head coach Ryan Presnell. And they did. He said, we are never out of any ball game the heart this team has. Robinson inside. Good eye. Oh, one on one. Wetzel reached on the air. Eggleston a called third. Russell singles back up the middle. One out, two men on here. We're in the bottom of the third. It's all south right now, 4 nothing. Cyclone's trying to get something going against this Matt Montgomery. This kid's tough. There's a high, towering pop out in left field. Roaming around center fielder says, Trey Fields, I got it. Squeezes the cow high, and there's two down. It brings up Evan Carter. Carter tapped back the box his first time up. Carter, two for four yesterday, drove in a couple of runs. Carter. Carter went two for four against Happy Valley and drove in two. And two for four yesterday for four for eight in the tournament. But a routine tapper back to the box. His first at bat against Montgomery here today. Montgomery brings it. Carter watches him miss outside of the way to the left-hand batting freshman. Ball one. A lot of these guys know each other because they play on travel teams in the summer, so it's not like they don't know each other. And That's the case of the kids on both of these teams. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Carter watches it, looking into the catcher's mitt, strike call, 1-1. On deck, if it continues, is Brody Adams. We're in the bottom of the third. Two on, two out. Cyclones trying to race that goose egg on the scoreboard, down 4 nothing. There's a slow ground ball to his counterpart. Uh, fumbled, shuffles, and he's safe. That's E6. Ground ball, force play at second, and Seth Worley couldn't get out of his webbing his glove, flipped it to the second baseman too late. All hands are safe. That's Corey Russell out there at second. Making that happen, and so now the bases are jammed, and here comes Brody Adams. A gap or double off Montgomery is first at bat, back in the second. Adams five for nine against the South pitchers this season. Time for a little cyclone magic right here. Let's see what can happen. Cyclones at each bag, two out here. This could be a big play in the ball game, down four nothing. Montgomery working from the stretch. Adams twirling the bat. First pitch, ground ball, shortstop in the hole, throws to third, and he's going to be. They called him out of the force play. He missed out a country mile. He was in there safe, but that'll be the inning. He slid under the tag. Fielder's choice. You go six to five, and that's the inning. President's going to argue the call, but to no avail. We go to the fourth. We played three. It's four nothing.
Sullivan South, you're listening to Cyclone Baseball. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. We go to the fourth inning. First pitch is a strike call. Bang, bang, played at the end of the inning. From here, looked like he was in, but I'm up here, and he's down there. But Fresno argued the call to no avail. Inning over, and I don't guess the lesson learned, don't swing on the first pitch. This one is downstairs, and it's one-on-one. Make him work you a little bit. Be that as it may, we move into the fourth inning, down 4 nothing. Daly brings it, 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, blew it by him, 1-2. Williams a single and a strikeout. He's one for two. Daly with his right foot on the first base side of the pitching mound. Interesting delivery. And he fouls back our way. In your three inning totals, Sullivan South, four runs, four hits, three errors. Elizabeth, no runs, two hits, and one error. But all the offense for this South Ball Club for all intents and purposes came off of Carter in the first inning. Daly's kind of slammed the door on him. Here's a ground ball to Dillard to his right field. Carson got him. Nice job. Four to three in the put out. There's one away. Carson looked like that was about a 20 mile an hour ball. It took forever to get to first base. Here's Williams popped out and foul ground to third baseman Brody Russell or Cody Russell rather and struck out. He's 0 for 2. And a strike called. So you look at the numbers. Daly's given up an infield hit to Jeffrey Leonard. That's been it. He has pitched very well. There's a high fly ball. Right field. Carter drifts in. Sound. It sounded worse than it was. Routine fly ball. Two down. See, if you're Coach Presley, you can't ask for anything more than this kid to come out of the pen do what he's done. So Sullivan South, four runs on four hits, and the four runs and three of those hits came against Carter in the first inning. That's been hit. Pitching, and a high pop, third base side. Corey Russell says it's mine, and he will. Man, that's a 10-mile high pop up. One, two, three inning. Great job, Bud Ailey. We go to the bottom of the fourth. We need base runners. It's 4 nothing South. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast's premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.bayesmountainpark.com baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447 Bays Mountain Park one of the Tri-Cities best places for learning, leisure and recreation Your life is always changing You never know what shape it will take or 
how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Cyclones trail 4 0. They'll bring up Daly, Johnson, and Carr. 6 7 and 8 against Montgomery. Here's Daly grounded out. Actually, reached on an error by Marcus Williams down at third, is only a bad. So, right hander versus right hander in the fourth, down 4 zip. Montgomery, first pitch is a strike call. Montgomery threw 61 pitches in his first game. He pitched here. So Montgomery, no balls and a strike to Daly. This one, belt high, misses outside, one and one. One one pitch, and it's down and away, two and one. Tomorrow, champion Chevrolet. Friday will be at Food City, and Saturday, a special broadcast from the Sprint Store, North Johnson City. Customer Appreciation Day. Looking forward to being over there, hanging out with Zeb and Ronnie and John and the boys. 2-1 pitch, outside 3-1. They're going to waive the activation fee while we're there broadcasting live. That'll be cool if you're getting ready to get a new cell phone or a tablet. Talk more about that tomorrow with the folks. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be there Saturday from 11-1 to at Sprint Store in North Johnson City. 3-1 pitch, downstairs, ball four. Daily draws, lead off walk. Get a courtesy runner first, I would assume Colton Miller will go out and run for a pitcher. And so Daly draws leadoff walk. Miller runs for him, and here right, is Nick Johnson. Johnson tapped back to the box his first time up. That's happened a couple of times today, so he obviously wants to do better than that. Let's see if he can. Left-hand batting, number 24, your DH for Carson Dillard. First pitch, and he nubs it foul. Behind the plate, strike one. So obviously, in order to get things turned around, you need base runners. That's what Elizabeth needs right now. East and Unicoi County next in the elimination game. Loser of this game will play the winner of that game tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Montgomery brings it, and it's strike called. 0-2. Hello to Miss Lacey out there listening. Thank you, and Elizabeth, and appreciate you. No balls and two strikes. Montgomery brings it. Ground ball back up the middle. In the center field. Base hit. Runner stops at second, and the Cyclones, first two on board. Nobody out here in the fourth inning. Third base hit of the game for the Cyclones. Here's Carr. How about it? Left fielder, So Jesse Carr with runners at second and first and nobody out down four here in the fourth. Wetzel in the top of the order looming on the horizon for the Elizabethan Cyclones. Montgomery to the belt. Carr drops a bunt and he fouls at the backstop. Got a piece of it, but he went the wrong direction. Strike one. National Hockey League tonight. You got Pittsburgh skating in Washington against the Capitals. You got Edmonton in Anaheim against the Ducks on the ice. Game seven between Edmonton and Anaheim. Tries to bunt, reaches outside, it misses one on one. And the Penguins and the Capitals tonight. Of course, the Predators are waiting the winner of that one. In the NBA tonight, you've got one game on tap. Washington, the Wizards, and Boston against the Celtics. Bunts makes contact with the backstop, one and two. Daly walk. Johnson single back up the middle, and here's Carr with Wetzel on deck. We're in the fourth. 
Four nothing. One ball, two strikes, brings it. And he swings away and fouls it back. Lane Williams behind the plate, Logan Date at first, Jeffrey Leonard at second, Seth Worley at short, and Marcus Williams at third. Defensively for the Rebels, the outfield, Austin Mons in left, Trey Fields in center, and Gavin Parker in right. Right now, shortstop third and left, working with the sun and a breeze blowing right to left here at the ballpark. So you got wind and sun on that side of the infield outfield. Montgomery, a live shot, does it go? Over the head of the left fielder. One run scores. And it'll stop him at second. On a two-strike count, Carr rattles the planks out in left field off the top of the wall. For a long single run scores, it's a four-to-one ball game. Two straight hits now for the Cyclones. Here's Wetzel. Two-strike pitch and Carr that eight spot. Hits it off the wall in deep left field and plating. Daly's Curtis runner Colton Miller. It's four to one. Here's Wetzel. Nobody out. Got him at second and first. Squares the bunt. Dust out in front of the plate. It's a good one. Montgomery Fields only plays the first. Job done. Sacrifice bunt. They move him up. Johnson to third. Car to second. We get to the top of the order, which is what you want. So one away, top of the order. Here's Eggleston. Represents the tying run of the plate here in the fourth. Down three. Eggleston the hero here Tuesday. Been doing this a long time. I won't forget that one for a long, long time. That was a lot of fun to call that one. Pitch is a strike call. Nice pitch by Montgomery. Two outs, two strikes, bottom of the seventh. Down two, bases loaded, and Eggleston delivers a... Gapper in left center field to clear the bases and win the ball game. You don't think that kid won't remember that 20 years from now? He absolutely will. 0-1 pitch and it's 1-1. One one. That's one of the one. That's the kind of play you'll tell your kids and your grandkids. Special moment. One ball, one strike. Runners at second and third. Montgomery pitching. Wets or rather Eggleston. Down the left field line, back it out of play. So Wetzel does his job, dropping that sack bunt perfectly. Montgomery's only play was to first, one to three on the put out. Moving up the runners. So the walk comes back to haunt south as Daly's Curtis runner scores, and he got him in second and third for Wetzel. Or check that for Eggleston. Montgomery brings it. Eggleston shoots it foul again. Tough customer. Back over top the concession stand here at Jay Fred. Getting ready to put down a new turf here. This thing looks pretty good as it is, but they're going to put a brand new one down to the tune of about a mil. One-two pitch, and a line shot to right field. That will fall for a base hit. One run scores. Here come the Cyclones. He'll come in standing up. It's a brand new ball game. Eggleston does it again, and the Cyclones never say never this bunch. It's 4-3, and that brings up Corey Russell. Three singles here in the inning for the Cyclones, and that brings Anthony Richardson right out of the dugout to talk to his starter. So big two-run single for Eggleston. That's five RBIs in two days for this kid. And it's a 4-3 baseball game now. As I told you in the first inning, it's a long ball game when you got high school kids out there. So Johnson scores. You have Carr scoring. Eggleston at first. Here's Corey Russell, a single and a strikeout. So you're tying run at first. Your go-ahead run for the Cyclones here in the fourth is at the plate, only one out. You're getting into the meat of the order. Russell, Robinson, Carter, Adams, Daly. But you can't ask anything more than what Eggleston's done the last two games. What a job this kid's done. Working from the stretch, pitching. Russell, fly ball, first pitch. Left field, 
I'd make him work like a dog, but they don't. They swing on the first pitch. And one gone. Two gone, rather. Got a guy shaking out there a little bit. Our coach said, make him work for it back when we played. But I'm up here and they're down there. Here's Michael Robinson. Two long, deep drives in the center field, both pulled in by Fields. Two hard hit balls in the ball game for Michael. Throw to first. Nice pickoff move by Montgomery. Back in. Would be Ethan Eggleston. Base is empty. It's been a three run inning here on three base hits for the Cyclones. Robinson, watch the miss outside, good eye, ball. Sullivan East, Unicoi County up next here in the elimination game. This winner goes to the regional, coming out of the winner's bracket. Pitching Montgomery, way outside, good eye, belt high, good job. And it would appear Montgomery may be laboring a wee bit here, let's see. Single Johnson, single car, two runs, RBI single car, two runs, single Eggleston. Three hits an inning and three runs in. There's a line shot. That's a smoker right to his counterpart, and that's his inning. He hit one about knee high and taking it as his counterpart, Seth Worley, and that's the inning. Three runs on three hits. No errors. He leave a man. We played four. Brand new ball game. We go to the fifth inning. It's 4-3. Solomon South, you're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the parts. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. One pitch, one out. It's the kind you like of your day league in a routine ground ball to Michael Robinson, a short to start the fifth inning for Dade. Four, five, and six. Here's Worley. A walk, a run, scored, and a ground out to Robinson at short. First pitch misses the right-hand batter. We're in the fifth inning. It's a brand-new ball game. There's a line shot. Look out. Foul. Third base side. The veteran coach, Anthony Richardson, down to third. He's a good one. He's got a, he's had a heck of a career at Solomon South. Coaching his ball club. 1-1 pitch. Slow ground ball. Even a bit of foul ball. Corey fielded that one perfectly down the chalk, but it was... A foul ball, says the umpire. Corey was all over that one like a duck on a June bug, but it's a foul ball. One ball, two strikes to Seth Worley. One out of the inning here in the fifth. 4-3 ball game. Swing and a foul tip. I think it may have got the umpire. Nicked him maybe just a smidgen. One and two. We told you last week on the show that Dobbinson's got a new basketball coach, Chris Poor, coming up from Jeff County. 1-2 pitch, upstairs, 2-2. Two two. Lucas Honeycutt was one of the names mentioned. Young man from Elizabethan, but 
They settled on Chris Poor. 2-2 pitch. Popped him up. First base side. Brody says, I've got it. Backpedal six steps and squeezes the leather. Two down. Daly has been phenomenal here, I'm telling you. Matthew Daly has been a man among boys. He's given up one hit since coming in to replace Carter back in the first. That was an infield hit, no less, but Jeffrey Leonard. Here's Mons. Popped him up foul. Back and out of play, strike one. Look out. That's going to be amongst the brethren. No balls in the strike. We're in the top of the fifth and a dandy. 4-3 south. This inside, he had to hunker down, avoid being hit. Hey, tomorrow will be a champion Chevrolet broadcasting the show. We looking forward to hanging over there tomorrow with the boys from champion, the number one Chevy dealer in the state. Popped up, playable ball, foul ground. Who wants it? And Corey says he's got it, races in, and Russell does it again. One, two, three inning, Daly's in a groove. Rebels go quietly. In the fifth, we go to the sixth, the bottom of the fifth, 4-3 ball game. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications and eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to, to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE master technicians here. With the ratio, it goes into a ratio, and it, we're a blue seal shop. So uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, Try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. Bottom of the fifth, brand new ball game. Carter Adamson Daly, the heart of the order of the Cyclones. Strike call, my Montgomery. Nice pitch, and this one's underway. Daly's retired seven in a row, so after the infield hit by Jeffrey Leonard. Pitching Montgomery, Carter, ground ball. Three hops, drop the ball, safe! Tying run at first, E4. That is, that is the fourth error of the ball game for Solomon South. And so this time it's committed by Jeffrey Leonard. Carter's on, that's the tying run. Here's Brody Adams. Adams a double and a fielder's choice. He's 0 for, or 1 for 2, I should say. Adams, for a long time, the only hit of the ball game was his, his fourth double of the season. Four runs, four hits. For South, three runs, five hits for the Cyclones, and here we come. Adams, first pitch, popped him up. Well, they go after these first pitches. Shortstop says, towering pop says it's mine, and that's a tough play to make, and he did it. Nice job with the shortstop, Seth Worley. You would think that's routine, but it is not because, A, you're dealing with the sun, B, you're dealing with the light breeze out there. Plus, it's just the nerves of making a catch in a big game like this. Nice job of Worley. One out, one on here is Daly. A walk and reached on the air and a run scored. One out, one on. 4-3 south in the fifth inning and a good one. Montgomery. Pitch way outside, ball one. Bullpen quiet for the Rebels. Montgomery... First time I've seen this kid. He can pitch. He's a gamer. But so is Daly. Goodness gracious, what a job he's done. 1 0 pitch. Inside. Strike call. Ran on his hands. 1 1. Look at softball. How about the Lady Cyclones? Put a whooping on Unicoi County. 8 0. 
South put a whooping on Happy Valley, 13 of them. Here's a shot to right field, and that will fall for a base hit. Nice job, just a little flare into right field, stopping at second, Carter on the error, single daily. Here's Johnson, a single and a tap into the box, courtesy runner, Colton Miller at first. It's base hit number six. And here come the Cyclones again. They got them at second and first. One out, tying run at second, and the go-ahead run here in the game is at first base. See what Johnson, the lefty, can do against the right-hander, Montgomery. Montgomery brings it. Johnson watches it miss outside, ball one. Well, the lads of NASCAR rolling to Kansas this weekend. will be racing on Saturday evening so they can get back home for Mother's Day. They go bowling 400 at Kansas Speedway. My man Kyle Bush, the defending champ of the race a year ago. 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch by Montgomery. 1-1. One one. Trucks will race on Friday night. And the Xfinity Series off until the All-Star Race in Charlotte. So trucks on Friday and the big boys go on Saturday in Kansas. 1-1 one, one pitch, Johnson twirling that bat, waits on it. And a swing and a miss, took something off that one, one and two. On deck will be Jesse Carr. Inning started air by the second baseman on Carter's ground ball. Adams pops out to short, daily singles. Two on, one out. Montgomery brings it outside, took something off of it and misses, two and two. Again, Montgomery threw 61 pitches in that first game, so a couple of days back. So he's got some pitches under his belt. 2 2 pitch. Johnson waits on it. He'll bring it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Nice pitch. Only the second strikeout of the ball game for Montgomery. It's a big one. Two down, here's Carr. Carr popped out in foul ground, and he's had an RBI single off the top of the wall in left field last inning. Two on, two out. First pitch popped him up. They go after his first pitch. It's foul ground. Shortstop, or third base pitcher. Pitcher's got it. That's inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. They leave two. Elizabeth and Stranded seven so far. We played five. It's four, three. Rebels will be back. Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatric... Corey Williams, 7, 8, 9, come calling for the Rebels in the sixth inning. 4-3 ball game, good one. Elizabeth and down a run. And Daly's been phenomenal here. Again, he is only giving up. This is his one, two, three, four, fourth full inning of work. He's given up a single infield hit to Leonard. And that's been it. It's a bad handle pop. Back and out of play for Williams, who's had an RBI single in the first and flied out to center. One for two. All the scoring by South has been in the first inning. Against Evan Carter. 
Nothing to show against this kid coming out of the pen. What a job of Matthew Daly. Brings it. And check swing. Did he go? He did not. Two and two. Two balls and two strikes. Daly brings it. And a strike three call. Got him. Throws him. Nice pitch, Daly. Strikeout number three of the afternoon for Matthew Daly. Here's Leonard. He's the last gentleman to get a hit back in the third inning. Infield hit. And it misses downstairs, ball one. Well, I got my ticket. September the 10th, the bad boys of the National Football League coming to Nashville to put a butt whipping on the Titans. The Raiders are coming to Nashville. I think me and Oz are going to go down and check them out. 2-0 pitch. Upstairs, 3-0. Raiders got Marshawn Lynch. Pitch outside, ball four. Used to get some ribbon about the Raiders. Don't think I'll get much ribbon anymore. These guys have turned the corner. Here's Parker. Parker is struck out and grounded out. He's 0 for 2 in that number 9 hole. So Daly works from the stretch. First base runner since Leonard. Back in the third. Strike call. Unicoi County's here. They're down the left field line. And I don't know where. Sometimes they come up in the stands, but East is not here, at least not where you can see them. 0 1 pitch. 1 1. Yep, got, used to get chewed on pretty good about how bad the Raiders were. Uh, well, it's funny how things change. 1-1 one, one pitch, chopping wood. He pops him up, foul ground. Corey Russell, pitch out of the strikes and made him chase a bad pitch. Got it. Two down. Parker pops out. Pitch out of the strike zone, two away, and you get to the top of the order, Lane Williams. Williams a single, a strikeout, and a ground out. He's one for three. In win or lose today, you got to give props to Matthew Daly. He's come in and put out the fire. This South was threatening to blow this thing open in the first inning, and he's come in and slammed the door. First pitch, fielded, throwing, got him. Easy inning. One to three on the put out. Pitcher to first baseman. No runs. No hits. No errors. And one man left. Here come the Cyclones in the bottom of the six. Down a run. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers, comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Bottom of the sixth inning is 9-1 and 2. Wetzel, Eggleston, and Russell. One to tie and two to set the stage to get out of here. 
4-3 ball game. It's Wetzel, then Eggleston, and Russell, and we hope a whole bunch more. Wetzel reached on the air, and a sacrifice bunny's over one. Pitch outside, ball one. Credit Montgomery. This kid's done a lot of pitches, and bullpen is active now for Solomon South. You have Alec Waller in the bullpen for Anthony Richardson. 1-0, and strike call, 1-1. One one. Still got some gas in his tank. This kid's a gamer. First time I had a chance to see him, and he is a very fine pitcher for Solomon South. 1-1 one, one pitch. And a bad handle foul up on the bank behind first base, the where all the lawn chairs are. One and two. Boy, if you are not here today, shame on you. What a almost a perfect day for baseball. Light breeze, sun's out, a little bit of humidity, not like we normally have. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Top of the order. Here's Ethan Ag Ethan Eggleston. Five RBIs in two games. I'll take that. One for three this afternoon. He's had the big hit. Montgomery working from the wind up here. And a 4-3 Rebel lead in the bottom of the sixth. And it's a strike call. Nice pitch. On deck is Corey Russell. Cyclones trail by one. Have more hits, 6-4. to four, But on the scoreboard where it counts, they're down a run. Pitching, and it misses, and it's one ball, one strike. Losers back out here tomorrow at 5 o'clock. The winners back out here tomorrow at 7.30. And the winner of this one will be going to the regional, which is the goal to move to the next round. 1-1 one, one pitch, Montgomery. Eggleston inside tight, and it hitting. Hit batsman by Eggleston. We'll take it. That's a base runner. That's a tying run. Here's Russell. Corey a single on three tries. Single on three tries for Corey. Montgomery. Brings it. Corey shoots it foul. First base side. Back and out of play. No balls and a strike to Corey Russell, the Elizabethan third baseman. Tying run at first in the bottom of the sixth. The go-ahead run is at the plate. Robinson on deck and then Carter. This is where you, you want the meat up there in this situation, the meat of the order. There's another. He hacked it. Right field slicing coming hard. Does he make the catch? Can't come up to a good effort by the right fielder. Gavin Parker in a long way, couldn't come up with it, and it's a long strike for Corey Russell. Never forget the performance down here in the Alcoa football game last year. This kid is unbelievable. One of the Alcoa football players cut his hand with his chin strap buckle. Corey put duct tape on it and kept on playing so the officials wouldn't see it was bleeding. Went right back out and got in that last offensive series and almost beat Alcoa down there. What an effort. This kid is a champion. 0-2 pitch. Montgomery brings it. Ground ball back up the middle off the glove. Shortstop fields for one. Tries to get the second one and save it first. Shortstop played it perfectly off the grazed glove of the pitcher. That's great concentration of Worley. Fielder's choice 6-4. to four. Two down for Michael Robinson. Now batting for the cycle. Two down, here's Robinson. Two deep drives and a line out, shoestring line out to his counterpart at short. He's 0 for 3. He hammered those first two in any other ballpark and been a home runner close to it. But here is a routine fly. Downstairs, ball one. Straight away center, 381. I saw Daniel Starnes plant one over that last week for Dobbins Minute when Elizabeth was here playing. Remember Aaron Ferguson hit one out of here. Young man's in Huntington. Played his football marshal. Here's a bad handle shot. Straight away center. Played it perfectly, and that's the inning. Another hard hit ball right to the center fielder, and that'll be the inning for the Cyclones. No runs. No errors. One man left. They've stranded eight. 
We go to the seventh inning. Do or die for somebody tonight. We'll be right back. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers, comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400. You're one and done. Top of the seventh, Williams takes a called strike right down the heart of the plate. Daly's got some smoke and some gas in the tank. Here's a check swing pop. Daly says, I've got it right in front of home plate, and he'll drop the ball. He won. As I say, it's high school baseball. Anything can happen. That's as easy a play as you're going to make. He just squeezed it too soon. E1, runners on. Here's Trey Fields. Hit batsman, scored a run, ground out and a pop out. He's 0 for 2. Pitching, and a strike call to Fields. That is the second error of the ball game for Elizabethan. Pitching, Fields, ground ball, slap foul, third base side. If you're looking ahead to the bottom of the seventh, and we are, Carter, Adams, and Daly, four, five, and six up. I'll go to war with those guys in the bottom of the seventh. These boys are some gamers. 0-2 pitch, Daly. And a curve misses inside, one and two. Again, the scenario, Unicoi County East play next. That loser, that game will be eliminated from the tournament. 1-2 pitch, line shot, center field. Does he get to it? And he does play it perfectly. Nice job, Wetzel. That was our hit ball. Routine fly ball out there in center. That's a big area. There's a lot of green out there in outfield of this ballpark, and that was a routine play probably out of most ballparks, as several have been today. One out, one on. Here's Logan Dade, an RBI single on three tries this afternoon. Daly working from the stretch, brings it, and it's a pitch misses, belt high, outside, ball one. 4-4-4 four, four, four for South, 3-6-2 the numbers for the Cyclones. Pitching inside, good stop by Eggleston. If you missed the story on Eggleston, Perkins hurt his hand in the second at bat. In the first game of the tournament, Eggleston came in from second to play. Catcher has been there ever since. 2-0 pitch, and he's doing a heck of a job. This miss is 3-0. Three balls and no strikes to Logan Dage, a cleanup batter for Sullivan's out. And he's taken all the way, three and one. Nice pitch by Daly. Hello again to J.P. Nix in Colorado. Coach Preston said, I'm wearing your pants today. Three, one, bad handle foul to the backstop, and Daly's working to a full count. Man, oh, man, oh, man, I'm impressed with the job Matthew Daly's done today. One hit since the first inning. That's Leonard's infield hit. Payoff pitch, and it's downstairs. They lost him ball four. Two on, one out for Seth Worley, who's over. Over two and a walk and a run scored. 
Reed Casey, former Rebel pitching coach at Elizabeth. And we'll come out and talk to his pitcher, see if everything's okay. Coach Prez will look into the dugout, may get some bullpen activity started because Daly, he's been as the spinners sing the song, the rubber band man. He's had a lot of throws and pitches this afternoon. So he's going to talk to his catcher and to his pitcher. And again, the losers back out here at 5 o'clock tomorrow. If it's the Cyclones, we'll be here, of course, about 4.50. And if we can come back and win this, we'll be back tomorrow evening at 7.30. No, we won't be back here tomorrow, so do we? Yeah. Runners at second and first. Meeting is over. Pitch downstairs. Ball one. Bullpen quiet for the Cyclones. Air on the pitcher. Fly out to center. Walk. Two on one out. Here's Worley. 1 0 pitch, and it's downstairs 2 0. Ryan Presnell squatted down in front of the dugout, watching his pitcher with keen interest here. Top of the seventh, you're down one. You don't want any more out there to cross home plate. Oh, nice pitch. 2 and 1. Rebel fans, a little. In disagreement with that one, two balls and a strike. There's a ground ball to Russell. Nope, in the left field. They'll challenge the arm. They won't challenge the arm. It goes under the glove of Carr. One run scores, two run scores. That's a big error there. A couple of big insurance runs for Sullivan South as that one rolled under the glove of Jesse Carr in left field. E7. He was going to come up and make a throw at the plate. Rolled under his glove. Two runs in. Error big second of the inning and the fourth error of the ball game now. On, or check the third error of the ball game for Elizabeth. And here's Austin Mons. Adams over talked to his pitcher daily. And so Carr, with his body language, hand on his hip, he realizes what he did out there. He made your boo-boo. But you know what? Sun comes up tomorrow, boys. This ain't cancer. And you know what? Win, lose, or draw, the Lord's still on the throne. Amen? Amen. 1-0 pitch. And it's a strike call. Nope, and it's outside, 2-0. Bullpen starts now for... The Elizabethan Cyclones. Daly brings it. And it's bell to high strike call. Nice pitch, two and one. So two errors in the inning have been the big difference here. Two runs have crossed home plate. It's a six to three south lead with infield pinched in with another run at 90 feet away. Popped him up. Could be deep enough. Let's see. They'll challenge the armor wet, so he'll come in and make the catch. Runners tagging. Here comes the throw. Could be pretty good. He's going to be out. Oh, oh, baby. What a throw by Wetzel. Why did he bring him down? I don't know, but he took it, and we'll take it. Nine to two on a per eight to two on a perfect throw. Double play ball, and that's the inning. Wow. Why would you bring him? But he brought him, and he throws a strike, a double play ball, and that's the inning. Two runs, one hit, two errors, and nobody left. We're going to keep it right here. Oh, boy, I don't know why he brought him, but he brought him, and perfect throw by Wetzel, 9-2 to two in the putout in the book. And so now the Cyclones looking at an uphill. They got three to make up now, four to win it. So Montgomery back out there, and so he'll go to work in the heart of the order, Carter, Adams, and Daly. Yeah, combined with two hits in the ball game, but what a throw by Wetzel. It was a fly ball that he broke in on in center field, made the catch, and righted himself into a one-hop strike to Eggleston, who put the tag on him coming in from third. That was textbook. And the Rebels take advantage of a couple of errors by the Cyclones, and so Betsy's down three here and going to the bottom of the seventh. 
Throw down to second, and here we go. Here's Carter. Carter is due. He's 0 for 3 today. The freshman phenom came in batting Evan Carter on the season in 25 ball games. Carter batting 450. Nothing to show for today. Now's a good time to start. Montgomery and a pitch down on the way, ball one. Bullpen active again. Waller back up for South. This is the bottom of the seventh. Three to tie it and four to go home. Let's see if the Cyclones can do it. Carter downstairs, good eye, 2 0. That's what you do this late in the. You make this old boy work now. He's been out there throwing a lot of pitches. Don't go up there and swing at the first thing. Take what you want. Strike call, 2 and 1. So, 7 20 tomorrow night if we win, and 4 50 tomorrow if we lose. We'll be right back out here. There's a shot back up the middle, base hit to center field. That's a start. Carter scorches it for his first hit of the afternoon for Elizabeth. Hit number seven for the Rebels, and here's Adams. Adams double and three tries. So all you have to do is go back, <laughs> look at the top of the inning of that error. Whoo, looms big. Instead of having the winning run of the plate like you would then, now you're down three. So you got to put some more out there. Let's see. Montgomery going against Adams. First pitch, strike call. Nice pitch. Brody Adams for Elizabeth and with men on base, batting 418. He's got one out there. No balls and a strike. And a shot that will be a base hit to left field. Right field, rather. I'm sorry. Stopping. Here come the Cyclones. Back to back hits. Anthony Richardson looking into the bullpen, see if he's ready. Back to back hits, and here comes Daly. Nobody out. This will be the tying run coming to the plate now. As we said, these guys practice this situation every day in practice. So this is to be down three. Ain't no big deal. Richardson comes out of the dugout about four or five steps. And picked up something, walks back towards the dugout. Here's Daly, a single and two tries, a walk and a run scored. He can help his cause here. That error was that he made by class inning was the gate opener for the Rebels. Pitch outside, strike call. Johnson on deck here. We are in the bottom of the seventh. Cyclones down three in the tying run to the plate with nobody out. Pitching. There's a fly ball. Left field. It'll hang. It'll be caught. Looking into the sun, Austin Mons makes the catch. One away. Here's Johnson. Johnson has single in three tries today. You've had Eggleston a two-run single, Corey Russell a single, Carter and Adams singles this inning, Daly a single, and Johnson and Carr singles. The only extra base hits been Adams double back in the second inning. Johnson twirling that bat to left. Tam battering, put one down the right field line and run for a mile. This one foul back. Strike one. Bottom of the seventh. Good one here. I tell you what. If you're a baseball fan, these are fun games to come watch. I'm sure the next one will be no different. Because somebody's going home. They'll pull out all the stops this next game. Unicorn County and East. One out. Runners at second and first. Bottom of the seventh. Down three. Pitches. And a good eye outside by Nick Johnson, one on one. Braves lose again today. It's become auto almost automatic for the boys in Atlanta. They're a struggling franchise. One one pitch, swing and a foul back, one and two. Again, Daniel Norris pitches on Saturday. Norris 
pretty good outing last time out. Squared his record of two and two. Norris will pitch against Big Albert Pujols and Mike Trout and the boys in Los Angeles on Saturday. Norris two and two in the season. One ball, two strikes. Montgomery working from the stretch. He's thrown a lot of pitches today. He's hanging tough. And got him. Strike three. Rose Johnson, third strike called, two down. It's Carr's turn. Carr's had an RBI single in three tries here today. So we're down to the final out here. Let's see if Carr can keep it going. First pitch, ground ball to the shorts up. No, in the center field. And they'll stop him at third. They load him up for Wetzel. So Carr second base in that eighth spot. Nice job for Carr on the first pitch. Which I said don't do, and I'll tell you what I know. Single right back up the middle. The bases are loaded, two out of the ball game. And here is Wetzel. This is exactly how it was against Sullivan East, except it was a one-run deficit instead of three. So that... Big two-run air out in left field looms huge in this ball game now. But that was in. This is now. Here we go. Here's Wetzel. Base is loaded. Two out. First pitch. Swinging. Foul back. Strike one. <clears throat> Rebels down 6-3. Base is loaded. Two out in the ball game. Hats off to Montgomery. He's been a gamer for Solomon South, as has our guy, Matthew Daly. 0-1 pitch, and it's strike two call. So Montgomery about a eh, strike away from going to complete game victory here. Let's see if Wetzel can do something with him. 0-2 count, bases jammed, two out of the ball game. Montgomery brings it. Wetzel, ground ball to the shortstop to his left. Shuffles. That's the ball game. We'll be here at 5 o'clock. Field of choice 6-4, to four, and South hangs on the win. A big two-run error in the top of the inning, and they're going to the regional at Sullivan South. We'll come back tomorrow and play at 5 o'clock. We'll come back and close it out. Final score, South 6. Elizabeth in 3. You're listening to Elizabeth and Cyclone Baseball. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast's premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423 229 9447 Bays Mountain Park one of the Tri-Cities best places for learning leisure and recreation your life is always changing you never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change but if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family the future becomes clear at Wells Fargo Advisors we believe conversation leads to financial clarity let's start a conversation today So back at J. Fred Johnson Stadium. We'll be back tomorrow at 5 o'clock to play the loser of this next game between, I should say the winner of this next game, between Unicoi County and Sullivan East. Final score again, 6-3. to three. Sullivan South, six runs, five hits, four errors. And for 
Elizabeth in three runs, nine hits, and three errors. Winning pitcher Matt Montgomery became the school's all-time winning pitcher, which says something. If you look at the guys that have come through south like Archer and Wade and Moore, and, again, taking the loss will be Evan Carter here this afternoon. He gave up the four runs in the first inning, and so Cyclones will bounce back tomorrow. We'll come back with it at 4.50 tomorrow be ready to go. Tomorrow we'll be at Champion Chevrolet for the Tom Taylor Sports Show, show number 515. Again, the final score, thank you for giving us a listen. Final score, South wins at 6-3, to three, and we'll come back and be ready to go tomorrow with a 5 o'clock first pitch between either the Sullivan East Patriots or the Unicoi County Blue Devils. Until then, as always, we'll tell you we're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. Until then, we will say win or lose, (laughs) be a good sport. So long, everybody.